The goal of this video is to help you work through the idea of using the automatic reference feature in Microsoft Word. Now for a lot of papers, you have to do what's called in-text citation. The basic idea is you go to someplace in your text and you write something like Garrett 2013 to refer to a book that Garrett wrote in last year. And then at the very end of your document, you'll do what's called a bibliography, where you actually give me all the information on who Garrett is and where the book was published and the rest of that. However, Word actually makes that easier for you. So here's how you do it. First, put your mouse where you want the citation to go. So in this case, I want to put my in-text citation right before this period here. What I'm going to do next is to go into my references tab here. There's a button called insert citation. Go ahead and click on that and then choose a new source. So I'm going to put my first book in here. I'm going to be by Nathan Garrett. It'll be titled How to Use Word, published in 2010, Burbank, California, by whoever publishers. Once I have all those information in, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now you'll see Word's created a new field for me that automatically puts my citation in there. Now what I want to do is I'll assume I'm done with this. I'm going to go to the very end of my document, insert my bibliography. For the bibliography, we go to the same place in the references. I click on bibliography and insert it whatever format you like. Now it'll actually go through my entire document, find every single citation, and automatically create the properly formatted style here. But let's say you do it in one way. You know, maybe you choose APA and last minute you find out that your professor actually likes MLA instead. All you have to do is click on the little drop down box and change it to whatever style you like. So now I'm going to do MLA 7th edition. And you notice here it automatically updates my bibliography. Or if we change a different one, maybe we do Chicago. Right? And it will automatically move around all the elements you need. If you go back up to the top of your document, you'll also see that it's changed my in-text citation as well. See Garrett 2010. If I change this to IEEE, and now it turns it into a number, which then refers to my thing at the end. Let's say I have a second citation. I do the same process. I add a new source. Maybe this time instead of a book, it's going to be a journal article. This will be by John Smith. Why Word is Interesting by Word Pub in 2013, 12 pages, volume one, issue three. I go ahead and insert that, and now it does my number two. Once I have put a source in, I can also reuse it. If I want to have that same source up here, I just click my cursor up here, go back to my insert citations button, and now I just choose John Smith, Why Word is Interesting, and click there. Now at the end, after I finish doing all this process, I want to make sure I update my bibliography to have all of the different books and references that I've used. To do so, I just click in the bibliography and go to Update Citations of Bibliography. I click that button, it'll go back to my document, find out every single thing that I've used, and automatically fix this for me. So now I see I've got J. Smith, by Words Interesting, and by N. Garrett. And then if I decide I want to go back to APA, I just click on my little drop-down, and change it back again.